am now on the very top of the tallest building in Hong Kong, and the views are spectacular. Greed, for the lack of a better word, if I have, you is know, good. One more drunken Wall Street investor <laughs> coming up to me and say, hey, you're the man, you're the man, you know, hey, greed is good. You're the guy who got me into this business. I'm looking, at, I'm the guy that got you into this? I was the bad guy. Nah, 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 you're the guy. I think because I started so insanely early, um, I sort of like skipped that whole skate sprite thing because I, you know, just at the age of five, you're not really quite sure. Photographs reveal things and they also conceal things. They can serve as an expose and they can serve as a cover up. And these Abu Ghraib photographs are the perfect example of that kind of thing. You want someone to blame? Look at the photographs. See those guys in the photographs? Blame them. Alexander Calder's arch from 1975 is the first sculpture a visitor sees. It stands 50 feet high and is the first of several monumental works by such artists as Robert Grosvenor, Alexander Lieberman, and Kenneth Snelson. Throughout the whole continent, you know, food, food has a completely different starting point and meaning. Welcome to A&E's Biography of the Year 2003 our ninth annual countdown to the number one person of the year. Ruben Studdard and Clay Aiken, they're everywhere this year. 40 million people watch them compete on American Idol. As much as I would love to be a day tripper on a time machine, um, just for its own sake, but for the worker to be handy as well. Um, but uh, no, I, I, I just want to be right here. Right now. I mean, there's a lot of things were linked to where I come from in Lyon, where that's what I grew up on, and that's why we definitely feel that a local restaurant is about. Welcome to Breakfast with the Arts from New Orleans. It's something very demanding, physically demanding, you know. Merci less, you know, the trumpet don't give you a break. Certainly we've degraded Al-Qaeda, certainly we've made it less capable, but at the same time this is a very long struggle. What we see as significant victories Al-Qaeda sees as mere setbacks. Professionally speaking, New York City ballet dancers are very, very uh, quick to learn the steps. It's like you show the steps, even if you are not sure what it is, they make it, they shape it for you, and they do it like that, and they can go on stage. In, in two rehearsals. It's like Grapes of Wrath, Easy Rider, and Clute became instant classics and forever fixed the Fonda name in Hollywood history. On Christmas Day, 1926, the reigning emperor, Taisho, died. Hirohito had been regent since 1921 because his father had been mentally and physically ill for years. The late emperor had passed the time drinking and womanizing behavior repugnant to his puritanical son. I'm Carol Masser. See you next weekend on Muse.